In this video, we're going to look at another method for finding equation of parabola using turning point form. Another way to represent equation of parabolas is using its turning point form, y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. The values of h and k come from the vertex of the parabola, and a is the dilation factor of the parabola, which tells us how wide or narrow the parabola is. In this diagram of the parabola, we can see that it has the vertex at 4, 2. So from this information, we can deduce that h is equal to 4 and k is equal to 2. We're then going to substitute these values of h and k into the equation so that we have y is equal to a times x minus 4 squared plus 2. In order to find a, we're going to choose another point, 0, 10, and we're going to substitute this into the existing equation. So we've got y is equal to 10 is equal to a times 0 minus 4 in bracket square plus 2. So we've got 10 is equal to a times 16 plus 2. Subtracting 2 from both sides, we've got 8 is equal to a times 16 or 16a is equal to 8. Then dividing both sides by 16, we then have a is equal to a half. Now that we've got the values of a, h and k, we can then deduce that the equation of the parabola is given by y is equal to a half times x minus 4 squared plus 2. Here's another example of how to find the equation of the parabola using turning point form. In this parabola, we have got the turning point of vertex at negative 1, 3. So we can deduce that h is equal to negative 1, k is equal to 3. So we're going to substitute these values of h and k into the equation. So we have y is equal to a times x minus minus 1 in bracket square plus 3. So this simplifies to y is equal to a times x plus 1 squared plus 3. To find a, we're going to use the point 1, negative 5 and substitute into the equation. So we have negative 5 is equal to a times 1 plus 1 squared plus 3. We've got negative 5 is equal to a times 2 squared plus 3. So we've got negative 5 is equal to 4a plus 3. Solving for a by first subtracting negative 3 from both sides, we have negative 8 is equal to 4a. Then dividing both sides by 4, we have got a is equal to negative 2. Again, now that we've got the values for a, which is negative 2, h is negative 1, and k is equal to 3, we can therefore write the equation of the parabola as y is equal to minus 2 times x plus 1 squared plus 3. Thank you for watching everyone. In our next video, we're going to look at how to find equations of parabolas given three points. So don't forget to subscribe. We hope to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.